Good morning. Welcome everybody to the project completion ceremony for the 356 Drive Southeast Emergency Repair Project. We are so happy to be here today and we're so glad that you are here as well. First, before we begin, I want to do a land acknowledgement. We are on land of the Snoqualmie tribe, the Tulalip tribes, and the Muckleshoot tribe. All three of those tribes have been on this land since time immemorial, and we want to acknowledge that this is their land as well. So with no further ado, here's what's gonna to happen today. We are going to hear from Local Services Director John Taylor. We'll hear from the King County Executive Dow Constantine, Council Member Lambert, as well as the King County Road Services Division Director, Tricia Davis. Following that, we'll have an official ribbon cutting and then a short tour. So thank you again, everybody here in person and everybody online on Facebook. We're so happy you're here. And with no further ado, here's Local Services Director John Taylor. Woo. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to make this quick. I'm just sort of your MC for this event. Uh, about a year ago, a little over a year ago, I got a call that this road was starting to slide and people were sending me pictures and there was a crack running from there all the way up to there and you could see this road starting to go and we had some real nerve-wracking moments. Um, I think, you know, that was a significant threat to everybody who lived up there to getting them completely cut off and there's been a lot of great work over the past year by uh, the community, by the Road Services Division, by Councilmember Lambert's office uh, to address this issue. And we're here to celebrate that work and to uh, cut the ribbon on this road being fully replaced and repaired. Um, I don't have much more to say than that. And with that, I'm going to introduce the County Executive, Dow Constantine. Well, thank you, John. Uh, and thanks to everyone for being here. Uh, and thanks to our team who made this all possible. Welcome. Uh, over the past year, we've gotten pretty good at dealing with emergencies. Uh, but this emergency is one that actually predated the COVID crisis and all of the other crises that came with it. Uh, the first thing I did when I learned about this slide was to issue an emergency proclamation. And that allowed us to expedite the, the permit approvals, to procure contracts as quickly as possible, so that emergency repairs could start as soon as possible. Uh, and that let road staff get in here with contractors to do the immediate work that needed to be done uh, to help keep the rest of the road from going, uh, to prevent the slide from getting worse, uh, and at least keep it open on a limited basis. Uh, because this is a sole access road, as John alluded, uh, it's the only road in or out. We needed to make sure we had a way to reach people if it failed. And so uh, our crews uh, joined together and improved a logging road, made connections to that logging road so that we were able to maintain uh, emergency access for some 200 residents during the construction period. Uh, finally, we needed to put permanent repair in place, and that is what you are seeing before you today. It took uh, three months of day-long closures, and I'm real sorry for the residents who had to cope with that, but uh, it is a lot of work to put together uh, one small portion of our giant road system. And, uh, and all that then uh, is compounded by the fact that we had to do it in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, I want to commend the staff of the Department of Local Services and of the Road Services Division and all the contractors and the landowners who helped get this project done well ahead of schedule. This project's emblematic of the challenges we face uh, in King County with respect to infrastructure. Uh, we have so many roads in King County that uh, could be subject to exactly this kind of a failure, and our funding is very limited. One failed road, one washed out bridge, and a big chunk of our annual budget can disappear. Uh, so thankfully, with some effort, uh, we did receive reimbursement uh, for part of this from FEMA, and we're very grateful to our federal partners for that. But it is a reminder that we need to be constantly looking to create new and more creative ways to, to, to fund King County roads to ensure that King County remains 
a vital and prosperous region. Again, my great thanks to our, uh, our team, your team, uh, who jumped on this, uh, got it done quickly and efficiently uh, and under uh, unusually difficult circumstances. And uh, so, Director Taylor, I turn it back to you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to introduce uh, sort of the, the heart of the community here, um, the person who spends an enormous amount of time in Fall City and works with a lot of the community folks that are standing here today. So, Council Member Lambert. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was so exciting to drive up here today and see this. I came up early when the crack was only so big and then came up later and the crack was bigger and bigger and I was getting phone calls from neighbors saying this is getting bigger and bigger and then I was getting phone calls from Rick Broder, our roads engineer, um, saying this is serious. And I was on some of those early Zoom calls and I remember all the things that our team was willing to do. And I remember the day we talked about getting the passes to be able to get in through the gate and people saying, well, if we have to come down and get it, can we have soup when we're here? And I do remember somebody added some things to the soup idea. Um, so there were a lot of community input, some in good humor and some in fear about people that were their family members that were in their 80s and 90s that because it is a soul road, what happens if I can't get my elderly parent out of here? And I remember one man on the call said, where is your house? I have a four wheel drive and should something happen, I will promise to come get your loved one. And that kind of teamwork on the Zoom calls, and in those days it was the early days of Zoom calls where we weren't so good at it. Now, unfortunately, we're great at it. So um, there was a lot of community input. And I drove up here many times to watch the work that was being done and, and how hard everybody was working. So when you look at your finished product, it's really, really clear about the great work that you did. And I really appreciate it for the entire community. I also appreciate Cab uh, Campbell Global um, and the other private landowners. Um, that was a lot of negotiation and that was a lot of um, community spirit that they were willing to make the sacrifices on their land that they did for the good of everybody. And um, that, was, that was tough. There was a lot that went on behind the scenes to do that. And so I thank you for those negotiations that most people don't know all that went into it. Um, but I know part of it, or most of it, I think. So um, there was a lot of good work that was done there. Um, we, as their executive said, we've had a lot of challenges this year. But no matter what the challenges were, whether it was snow, 12 inches deep or whatever the issue was, our local services department has been unfailing in doing everything they could possibly do and I don't know what we would do without our local services department. And the ability that when things go wrong I can call John's number and tell him what the problem is and my favorite words is, I'm on it. And that's just so comforting because I know that our citizens are in good hands once we're all working together. The employees went door to door um, several times to give out daily and weekly notifications and to tell people what was do what was happening and so I am very thankful for your work your long hours and the quality that you put into this because this is a beautiful road and I hope that all 222 um, residents here will be so impressed with the good work that King County does and the next time something goes wrong remember King County does it well so just know that and don't be nervous, because we're going to get the job done. So thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, before I introduce Tricia Davis, I, I want to exercise a point of personal privilege and acknowledge Rick Broder, who I did not recognize there in his mask, <laughs> who was the roads, edu the roads director when this all happened. So hi, Rick. Hey, guys. Uh, Tricia, if I may introduce Tricia Davis, director of the Road Services Division. Thank you. And first, I just want to thank uh, uh, County Executive Constantine and Councilmember Lambert so much for your support of this project and your support of all of the work that Road Services does for our residents and for our community in unincorporated King County. So Road Services remains committed to prioritizing emergency work, just like what happened here, especially on these sole access roads where there's only one way in and one way out for the affected residents to use. 
However, we face the stark reality that it will become more difficult to respond to these emergencies if we, um, and to continue to maintain and preserve the roads that we have throughout the road network, if we don't have sustainable funding for road services in the future. We're working closely with community members and looking at every funding source available to keep our roads safe and open for our neighbors, for our family, for our friends that depend on this network. So funding our county road system, much like preventing an ancient slide from cutting off access to hundreds of people, is complicated and complex work. It takes endurance and we have to identify and solve difficult problems. So the success story behind this project at 356 Drive Southeast is about identifying and solving hard problems and doing that together as a team. Our engineers, the consultants, and the contractor faced several challenges with this project. They had to manage an active landslide. We had the looming threat of losing the entire road during the next raining season that underscored the urgency to finish in less than a year. The fact that we were able to design and complete this highly technical work in just over nine months is truly remarkable. Our team raced across the clock to design, permit, and build this project to restore full access all during the height of the COVID pandemic. I'm proud that our dedicated maintenance crews together with internal and external engineering and construction experts responded thoroughly and quickly to this emergency. I wanna thank the entire team of professionals from across the entire road services division, consultants, contractors that came together to make the project a success. I also want to thank the Spring Glen community for bearing with us. Uh, they endured nearly a year of weight limit and traffic restrictions on the sole access road. So uh, again, just together identifying and solving challenges as a team is what we do best at Road Services. It's what we're going to continue to do at Road Services. So just like we did with this project, we're going to continue to work together to find solutions to hard problems. And with that, I have some ceremonial scissors. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh, it's harder than it looks.